What's going on? This is Full Throttle Freedom. I'm currently riding on the 22X and I'm heading out to one of my favorite motorcycling roads of all time called Highway 762. Uh, it's a great road here in Alberta and the thing I love about it is it gives a good balance of good twistiness without having to go too far from the city. So it's about a 35 minute drive from Deerfoot once you get on the 22X and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really, really good road. So yeah, I'll leave a map on the screen of approximately where it is. But uh, essentially there's two ways to get there. So you can either hop on 22X like I'm doing and ride out just straight west. Or if you're up north, you can ride down uh, either Highway 1 or uh, Glenmore Trail, head out to that little roundabout and just head south and then once you hit the 22x it'll just be a left turn and then the road's right there yeah i'm gonna show you guys uh pretty much my go-to road last summer i probably came out here at least once a week okay i'm gonna get past this guy here So update on the MT-09, it's coming, but it's still in the works. I haven't heard anything about an estimated ship date other than, you know, he said it'll come at the latest end of April, but I have ordered some modifications for it. So I have a windscreen, some bar end sliders, some frame sliders, uh, some swing arm spools. I have those so I can get it up on stands. I bought a radiator cover to keep any rocks from damaging the fins and a few other things. But I'm looking forward to doing some videos on putting all those on the bike and then obviously getting on the bike, going out riding, just really enjoying that whole new experience. But yeah, this is it here. So you can see the sign for Highway 762. So I'm gonna hop on this guy here. It's basically the first turn off before you actually get to Bragg Creek. So, ooh, some gravel here. All right. So start with a really long straight stretch here. This doesn't last too long and then you get right into the twisties here and it, it's like probably a good five to ten minutes of just good nice turns and you know they're moderate they're they're definitely they can be challenging but they're still not too extreme for a beginner rider like i'm gonna be taking my wife out here a few times this summer so that she can get some good experience doing cornering because she's only really done low speed stuff in the city Nothing too crazy. Sand, so I'm not gonna push it too hard. we get stuck behind this guy that's okay this is kind of a warm-up round and then I think what I might do is I might turn around and come back down because um, you know at the end there's uh, a pretty low traffic road at the very end of this and so it's easy to just do a quick U-turn come back and then head back up the 22x so some more bikers what's going on guys 
Okay, and then this is my chance to get past this guy. I realize I got the, I have my black windscreen. I don't know how low down the camera goes, but hopefully you guys can still see what's going on. If not, I'll just work on it. Maybe I'll throw back on the old windscreen so that at least you can see through. Yeah, there, there's quite a few long straights through here, but this next section that we're going to get into is probably my favorite part of the whole road because uh, there's just a lot of a lot of good cutbacks and left turns, right turns. There's uh, there's one really long sweeping left turn when you're going south like we are, and then obviously when you come back, it turns into a right-handed turn. about this sand here. I hope that my tires don't lose traction at all. But this will all kind of disappear as the summer goes on. Hopefully. Yeah, this is the turn here. Very focused right now. <laughs> now, one thing about this road apparently, the residents are really frustrated because of all the bikers. But, you know, realistically, you know, it's a public road. They, um, they're talking about trying to make it a toll road. We don't even have toll roads in Alberta, as far as I know. Like, maybe, maybe a couple, um, I don't know, up north or something. But nothing around Calgary or Edmonton or anything. So, I just think it's kind of kind of funny that um, they're frustrated about this. Because it's like, you know, we don't have a lot of places to go that are close to the city. Yeah, sure, if you go out to... Um, the 1A and go out to Canmore, Banff, anything past there you're gonna have some decent roads but really the best roads are out in BC and uh, that's a that's a decent trek out there. Man last summer right here uh, a deer it was close to sunset a deer ran out right in front of me and probably missed me by about three inches. I mean that, it was really really close and I was actually riding with a buddy at the time and he was right behind me. We were really ripping through here. And I mean, I hit the brakes a little bit, but you know, if, if that deer hadn't gone a little bit further into the road, I, I would have just hit him and wiped out. But yeah, anyways, that was it for the twisty part. Um, I'm gonna go to the end of this road here and then turn around and come back. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Got myself turned around and now I'm gonna come back up the road and then take the 22X home. So it's just a short little stint, but I really love it. This is where I come out for my evening rides. Some more bikers. Yeah, it's mostly old guys out in their Harleys or their adventure bikes. Not a lot of sport bike riders right now, which is fair. I mean, it's still kind of cold. Plus, I guess the old guys are the ones that have uh, the time to do it, too. Potentially, I mean, it's a Thursday, so I don't know. Maybe some of the sport bike riders are still working or they just don't have the time.
I've also never recorded myself doing any uh, any riding really, so not not any challenging riding at least. So it'll be interesting to watch back and see how I did. Yeah, and this is a this is a really wide turn here. I find this one can uh, can get you because you roll on the throttle a little bit too early and you find yourself having to lean the bike over quite a bit. This is a good pace for me though. It, it's still fast, but it's not so fast that I feel like I'm pushing my limits. Like I don't feel on edge. I feel very calm, which that's really what you should be going for when you're doing your riding is to, to feel calm and collected and just very centered because if you're it's, if you're tense you're it's going to translate into your inputs on the bike and it's not going to end well so oh man yeah that was a little bit much I don't usually do a lot of talking when I ride because I don't even have a headset. So this is a, this is a very new experience for me because typically, you know, when I'm riding, all my attention is on riding, which I mean, really that's the way it should be. But I've been riding long enough now that a lot of the inputs are second nature. It's just, um, you know, when I, when I get to these corners, I find that I still need to focus quite a bit. Otherwise uh, I might make a mistake. So. Because even like a little bit earlier there, I did, I did make a mistake. Felt uh, the bike was going a little wide, so I had to slow down. But yeah, these uh, these corners aren't too bad, you know. I mean, I'm I'm going through a lot of these at you know 120, and I'm not having any issues at all. So it's just a matter of what's in your comfort level, right? You know, for someone who just started riding, that may be really fast. They might want to take these corners at like 80. But yeah, the important thing is always ride within your limits and don't ride to your limit. Always ride a little below because it gives that room of margin for error because everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, that's it. So that's Highway 762. Definitely a good beginner to intermediate road. And like I said, it's close to the city. So it, it doesn't take longer than, you know, an hour and a half to do a whole ride. You know, sometimes I catch myself like checking for my phone and wallet because, you know, from the very day, from the very first day I started riding, that's always been on the back of my mind. It's like, you know, can your wallet and phone fall out of your pocket? Like, <laughs> I always catch myself just going and checking every once in a while, especially after like a heavy acceleration or any fast riding. It's just, oh, okay, yeah, it's still there. I've never had anything happen. That's something I think a lot of people can relate to for sure. Yeah, it feels so good. Oh, I love being out in the bike. Oh, I just got my heart pumping and feel good. And adrenaline hit and love that rush for sure. But anyways, guys, Thanks for watching and be sure to ride safe.